open heavens on the go. Monday, January 31st, 2022. Topic, Wonders of Divine Anger. Memory verse, Deuteronomy 4.24. For the Lord thy God is a consuming fire, even a jealous God. Bible reading. 2 Samuel 6, 1-7 Again, David gathered together all the chosen men of Israel, 30,000. And David arose and went with all the people that were with him from Baal of Judah to bring up from thence the ark of God, whose name is called by the name of the Lord of hosts that dwelleth between the cherubims. And they set the ark of God upon a new cart and brought it out of the house of Abinadab that was in Gibeah. And Uzzah and Ahio, the sons of Abinadab, drove the new cart. And they brought it out of the house of Abinadab, which was at Gibeah, accompanying the ark of God. And Ahio went before the ark. And David and all the house of Israel played before the Lord on all manner of instruments made of firewood, even on harps and on psalteries and on timbrels and on cornets and on cymbals. And when they came to Nechon's threshing floor, Uzzah put forth his hand to the ark of God and took hold of it, for the oxen shook it. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Uzzah, and God smote him there for his error, and there he died by the ark of God. The Message One serious attribute of God that I have emphatically taught people not to overlook is divine anger. Truly, the Almighty God is love. 1 John 4, 8. However, we must never forget that he is also a consuming fire. Deuteronomy 4, 24. Anytime I say this, some people argue that the Bible reference belongs to the Old Testament dispensation and we are now in the New Testament. Amazingly, such people did not read their New Testament thoroughly enough to discover that even Hebrews 12, 29 says, For our God is a consuming fire. This is one of the wonders of divine anger because how can the God of love be a consuming fire at the same time? We need to remember that it was divine anger against the devil that made way for man's deliverance from satanic oppression. Genesis 3.14 Divine anger against the devil after the fall is full of the wonders of God's love for man that the man may be redeemable unlike the fallen angels. He cast the man and the woman out of the garden so they would not have access to the tree of life in their fallen state, which would have made them irredeemable like the angels. Thus, God cast them out as he embarked on a redemption process that was centered on Jesus dying for the sins of man, his resurrection, and second coming to rapture the saints. When a child of God falls into sin, God does not spear the divine rod. Why? It is because God would not want him or her to miss the bliss of his kingdom. This is why God punishes his erring children. Hebrews 12, 7 to 8 says, If ye endure chastening, God dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the father chastened not? But if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then 
are ye bastards and not sons. Whenever the Lord chastens you, accept it in faith, repent, and amend your ways. His fire refines us when we yield to his correction, but consumes when we choose to remain in our sins. Repent and forsake all your sins today, then confess Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, so as not to experience God as a consuming fire. Prayer point. Father, please help me to receive your correction joyfully so that I can laugh at the end of it all in your kingdom, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, please help me to receive your correction joyfully so that I can laugh at the end of it all in your kingdom, in the mighty name of Jesus. Bible reading in one year, Leviticus 1 to 4. Him for today. We are never, never weary of the grand old song. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.